Hey guys and welcome back to Forest Games. Today I'll be attempting the every room as one tile bigger challenge. This challenge means that we're going to start off with a one tile room, then a two tile room, then a three tile room, so on and so on. So now uh, let's jump in and get started on this build. Okay, so I've just finished building this shell and just to make sure that I have um, put all the rooms I was meant to, uh, I'm just going to quickly go over this. This is the one, right, that's one. This is two. Um, this over here is three. 16. Fantastic. So we have, uh, yeah, so we have... All the rooms are between uh, sizes 1 through 16, and I haven't missed any of them, and I also haven't duplicated any of them, because this is actually my second attempt at this challenge. First I was too ambitious, I was considering put, having two floors, and then I had like three of the sizes doubled, so I was like, no. Um, <laughs> so I, read, I redid it, and um, I redid the uh, rooms and the show and stuff. And this time everything went to plan, which is fantastic. So now let me just retile the whole place and we can jump into the speed build for this challenge. Okay, so uh, now that we're in the speed build portion of the video, we can uh, finally have a little chat about the build. Um, so I got the idea for it for, for this challenge from James Turner and uh, I'm pretty sure he came up with the um, like with the idea for this challenge and I also did watch his video before attempting it myself so um, I kind of know what I kind of knew going into this um, what I did not want to do because um, whilst I appreciate that he came up with this I did not actually like um, the builds that he did um, so, <laughs> so um, yeah so I, I, I mean Thank you for the idea, but I did not like yours. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, um, I went with, in terms of the number of the rooms I ended up going with for this, I um, I did want to have, like, um, a, at least one, I was, um, I mean, initially I thought I would have, I would turn this into, like, a two-story house, because then I would have more options. I could have, like, more bed, like, more rooms, so more, like, more rooms with larger amounts of tiles. But that, that, option did just did not pan out how I wanted it to so I just scrapped it and instead um just made this like a um I guess like the style was kind of like Mediterranean sort of like very warm weathered sort of like um bungalow maybe sort of house um it's not really my style but I like that because from the initial like initially I did want it to be more my style but that was just not panning out and I'm very happy I did not end up going with more of my style. So I went with um, 16 rooms, so uh, size 1 to 16. Because, I, I mean, I did want to have at least one bedroom that turned into two. Um, and a kitchen. Uh, and I also wanted to potentially have a living room or a dining room, like one of those two. And I ended up going with both. So um, I'm very happy with um, the fact that I did choose to go up to 16 rooms. Um, I used the um, one and two tile rooms as closets. So the one tile is like a tiny little closet in the kids' room, and then the two tile is a small closet in the um, parents' room. And also the idea I had for this house was that it would be like a parent and a child living together. Um, so I did, like this idea is sort of a twist on James uh, James's idea. Because I I did I liked the concept I liked the initial thought behind that I liked the like that he came up with this challenge I liked all of that I just did not like the execution um, of the and the like final result to be honest uh, I'm sorry um, but yeah so for basically my idea was that this would be a house for a parent and a child who are like I don't know, maybe this is like a house that they're renting. Um, or uh, and like slowly sort of renovating it. it makes sense, but um, or maybe it's a house that they plan on renting, and like initially it was like um, kind of a ruin and stuff, and just like very old, and um, not 
all that aesthetic and then they moved in to like renovate it and then just so that they can like either cover it, like sell it on or maybe like rent out to others and so they're currently like living here in this sort of like weird house um and i say weird because there's like three or four like um rooms that are basically just like long corridors and i did that because i mean i didn't really know what to do with that many rooms and with and they were also weirdly like there there were weird sizes and stuff so i just decided to go with like three corridors so there's one corridor that um goes from the like entryway to the parents room um and i just put i think like a little um table in there with some plants and a lantern maybe and then there's another one that goes i think from the dining room to um both the um patio outside and um to another whole, uh to the three tile um corridor um and the the i think uh, yeah one of those ha also has like a table and some plants and art and stuff and then the three tile room uh, the three tile one has a um i think it's like a chair just like a a, a chair that you can that's um the people who live here the sims who live here can just sit on maybe read a book or i don't know do, just do something like that and um i there's also i uh yeah i gave this house basically like two patio areas so like a back patio which there's two and um exits onto one from uh, the i think it's a nine tile hallway and then another exit is from the parents room and then there's also the front patio which is just like uh, it has like a bench on it and it's just like um the end like um the entry to the house and there's uh one and then there's a door from there into the actual entryway which then leads into a horror corridor which leads to the majority of the house and then another the second corridor which leads to the parents bedroom something that i really like that i put on this house is the, that um i think i already um worked on it i think we we've already seen it um but um basically there's just this like little because I, I was going through like floor plans and i like house ideas house concepts like pictures of houses and stuff as i do um when i work like when i'm trying to build stuff in the sims because i mean i need to get my idea somewhere and i came across this house which was pretty cool it had like this sort of like built-in shed sort of area it was like there was like a room on the outside of the house i was part of the actual house that didn't have a door it was just like an archway into it and it was basically just like a storage area for the house and i really liked that idea so i decided to give this house one of those two so um i used i think the 11 tile room to make uh, 11 tile yeah 11 tile room to make just sort of that like outdoor storage area it doesn't have a door um and it uh, you can't uh, use it to enter the uh, main house um and i really like that i also gave it like on the, it has like um a ramp that i i made by using just um a um a roof piece um so it's just like a ramp um and there's like a bike inside and there's a bike in the gut uh in the front yard as well so like um basically just to indicate that like that ramp is um because i don't think that sims can actually use it but the concept was that it's just like a ramp that when the sims want to like put their bikes inside the um inside the room or when they're taking it out that they can use that ramp to like uh, easily get the bikes in and out um so yeah um i am honestly really happy with like um what the concept that i came up with uh, the, that i came up with for this house yeah i think that's i think that's what i'm trying to say uh well, I'm trying to say. so i was i was just work i'm just working on the living room right now um i decided to put a um door between the living room and the dining room um just so that um i know cuz i i think i just got the idea cuz my aunt's house has that sort of thing as well but it's not from the dining room to the living room it's more like from um one living room to the other living room and i sort of really liked that idea so i just decided to um take that and like put it in this house um 
because um, I think, I don't know, I just thought it might be cool. Uh, it might be a pretty fun thing to, like, have here. And, uh, I mean, the door is obviously not usable because there's, like, two armchairs blocking it. But um, still, I just, I don't know, I thought it was an interesting idea so, and I just wanted to go with it. And then now I'm just working on the dining room, which was a pain. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I was like, do I want to put two tables in here? Do I want to put a, just like one round table in here? Like what, what am I trying to do? I don't know. Um, in the end, I did um, just, I did kind of make this like built in storage area with like a table. Um like a rectangle table under a uh, small rectangle table under it uh, or like built into it and then also a round table with three chairs i mean i don't think they really need more than three chairs because like the aim for like uh, the idea had for this house was that like there was only like one parent and one child living here so um and they're renovating it so like um currently i don't i didn't really think that more than three chairs were necessary and i did actually like the um uh, how it turned out i put a um carpet under the table and yeah I'm pretty happy with that how that turns out oh I'm also I also really like the kitchen I like how I use like a um, light blue counter with like white cupboards and stuff and I think that was pretty cool I really like how that turned out um so yeah so now I'm just basically just working on the finishing touches for this house so filling up the entryway the um the uh, small hallway that leads to everything um, and putting down some carpets. Also, I recently got the Courtyard Oasis and Blooming Rooms kits, and, uh, whilst I'll probably be using the Blooming Rooms kits in most of my builds, because, I mean, plants, uh, I use plants, at, um, in basically all my builds, um, Courtyard Oasis, not so much, but I still really like it, and so I did, I did want to, like, I do want to use it in my build, so I thought, like, this could be, this might be a good chance to, like, use it, to play around with it, to see what it's like. And, um, uh, it was a big kind of inspiration for this build. And I do like a lot of the, like, different things that came in the pack. Uh, oh, and then here I'm just going to be working on the kids' room. So, yeah, so I ended up just putting, like, a daybed in here, a, um, desk, and, um... As you can see, there's that closet there. That's the one. That's the one tile room. I, uh, I honestly, um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with the one and two tile rooms when I was starting, because initially my like my first thoughts were to use the two tiles to just put like the initial first like entryway. So when th there'd be a door, and then the two tile room would be there with like a nice large archway leading into the next room. But basically the two tile room would connect with like a larger room, um, creating like a one big hallway um, with like rooms leading off of it because I just didn't know what to do with it. But then I started like playing around and all that stuff. And I ended up choosing to use both the one tile room and the two tiles as two closets for the kids room and the parents room and I'm really happy with that how that turned out so going back to the um going back to the kids room um yeah I just put a desk um a bed and a um storage unit I can't remember what it's called in there just to just to um make it a, like a full kids room and uh, I was pretty happy with that so yeah